Hi, this is uh, Richard, um, speaking from Spinner Clean, home of the Skyvac. Um, as you can see, I've got my morning cup of tea with me here. Uh, it's a little bit chilly and I've got my nice uh, Spinner Clean fleece on to keep me warm. And the thing is, it's a sign now that things are getting a bit colder, chilly, which means it's coming up to gutter and roof cleaning season. So we thought this is an ideal opportunity that I could have a chat to you, show you some of the products for uh, roof cleaning, uh, and some of the additions and the adapters and the poles that we use for roof cleaning and also maybe give you a few little tips along the way. So let me finish my tea and then we'll talk about the skyscraper and some of the other things that can help you with your roof cleaning. Come with me. Let's first of all talk about the uh, skyscraper. Uh, this is something that I've used over a number of years in the cleaning industry when I've been out cleaning roofs. It's very strong, robust and, um, and the great thing about it is that it has 11 different types of blades that you can fit to the skyscraper just using a Allen key and the nuts there. So whatever type of tile that you're coming across that you need to clean with the moss, etc., you can choose the appropriate blade to go into the skyscraper. Um, you've got 11 blades that cover the, um, the different types of tiles that you may come across, especially Redland or Marley sort of type of tiles. Um, as I say, they fit in here, got two little holes here, fit into the skyscraper and you just use an Allen key just to tighten that up uh, for suitable uh, to, to fit it up. It's quick and easy to set up, very strong and robust uh, and the great thing about it is the angle can be changed. So you can change the angle of the dangle. So when I've been cleaning roofs, I try and get a nice central position so I can clean to the left and to the right of me and, um, and I just change the angle. So I've got a better clean and the blade then runs across the tiles uh, and, and drags the moss down. So you can use that so you do bigger and larger sections. So that's a great little addition there. But as I say, you can change the angle. Now I'd like to talk to you about the um, skyscraper wire brushes. Um, we've got two here um, in my hands. We've got a shorter um, steel uh, brush and a, a longer brush and the reason for that is that these get tight into any sort of real stubborn areas and the longer brush I've used for those sort of crevices or deeper crevices that uh, I need to get into so if you've got different sort of tiles that have got more of a lip on them then I can use the longer brush um, I'm not going to try and touch these because they are quite sharp and really do the job so when I've been roof cleaning, I'll start off with a skyscraper and I'll scrape off the majority of the moss. For those stubborn areas and around the tiles or the nooks and crannies, I then come to my uh, brushes and they really do do the job and get in there and um, uh, get some of those stubborn marks out. Again, these are adjustable when you're using the skyscraper head and you can get the angle of the dangle. Um, so if you're in your central point and you're, you're cleaning, again, you can just adjust them. They're great for, as I say, nooks and crannies, and they give a more um, intense clean and give that like scrubbing effect to those tiles. Now we come on to the sky sweeper in our roof cleaning process. So basically, when I've cleaned the roof, I've used the skyscraper to get that general moss off. I've used the bristle brushes for those intense areas. Now I just want to sweep some of that debris off, and then I, I turn to the, the sky sweeper. They're an ultra thin steel brush and they're ideal for a thorough cleaning. Uh, we've got the standard brush here, and also we've got a hybrid brush here that has a, um, a polypropylene center. It get, just gets rid of those more stubborn marks that, that, that you need. It's a nice, large, wide head, so you're gonna get all that moss and knocks off the moss quite easily. And, um, and it's tough, put my teeth back in, it's tough material and it's long lasting. Ideal for um, uh, cleaning the moss off the roofs. So this is what I use in the third stage of my process of um, getting rid of that moss off the tiles. Ideal piece of kit that you need in your armoury. So when you come to clean your roofs, you can obviously do it from the ground or you may need a tower uh, or a platform of some sort. Now our telescopic poles here, are very lightweight carbon fibre and they come in a range of sizes. You've got 24 feet, 30 feet, and 34 feet, and they're very light and compact. The great thing um, about it for me 
is that they go in my van, I've got a Peugeot partner, so it, it slips in there nice and easily for me with the rest of the kit that I take with me. Um, again, when I go and survey a job, what I'll do, I'll extend the, the, the pole to see what my coverage is and what I can cover from the ground when I'm cleaning the moss. So therefore, if I need a tower or a scaffold, I can contact the team at Spinner Clean and they do the uh, sky towers, um, which is ideal that you can, you can work off. And then that will help you price up the job that you're going to do. So great thing with these, they allow you to operate from the ground. There's a health and safety issue there, which is nice uh, and, and safe for you and the team. And uh, also the great thing is whatever poles you've got, we do adapters here. So if you've got the elite poles, you've got an adapter there for your elite pole, or if you get a different type of pole, then here we've got a universal um, uh, adapter that you can just fit in your pole, which will attach to the skyscraper or the sky sweeper or the bristle brushes, and then you're ready to go. So very useful, and as I say, I have it in the van all the time. Just a quick roof cleaning tip for you, um, especially if you're new to roof cleaning or you're looking to get into it. When I go to survey a job and quote up for a job, um, obviously I have a look at the area, what I've got to clean, etc. But what I take with me is the sky cam, because especially this time of year when it gets a bit colder, some of the slate roofs especially can get a little bit brittle. So if you went to just sort of steamed in and started scraping the moss off, etc., you just need to be careful that some of these slates may be a little bit, um, bit loose or a bit brittle. So to make sure when I survey and do the job and price up the job, I take my sky cam with me on a telescopic pole and it allows me to get a real close look at some of those areas so I can just assess to make sure everything's okay and that the roof's intact. So it's just to be sure, make sure when you're surveying a job, make sure that you've got a good understanding of what you're getting into. So that's a little tip from me and, uh, and I hope it all goes well. Quick tip for you, when you do your roof cleaning, you've finished up and you've scraped up all your moss and everything, don't forget your trusty mighty atom to clean out all the gutters. It's going to be a dirty job cleaning those roofs and there's a lot of moss coming down into the gutters. So I always take my atom with me because it's nice, small and compact with my roof cleaning kit. I can go around and then suck up all the gutters and clean that out. Don't forget to price that on your job. Don't get caught out as I did in the early days. So maybe teaching you to suck eggs, but just remember, top tip for you.